if you had to come up with a really punchy title for your topic, what would it be? Why genome editing might make the rich richer and the poor poorer. What if you could make your kids, your grandkids, immune to disease, taller, better looking? Would you do it? Okay, the famous double helix. What genome editing does is it goes straight into the desired position on the genome, say a faulty gene, snips it, cuts it away, and the molecule repairs itself. And that's it. It's a really big deal because at the end of last year, this Chinese scientist said that he had created the world's first genome edited babies. And what he tried to do was create two embryos that are immune to HIV. Now people know that gene genome editing works, but nobody has tried it in embryos that have then been brought to term. I think that at this stage, it's an unethical thing to have done. I just think they're two little baby girls and what a thing for someone to do. I mean, it, it is playing God. There are clinical trials for things like genetic forms of blindness, blood disorders like sickle cell anemia, beta thalassemia, and those look promising. I think the current costs at the moment are hundreds of thousands of dollars per patient. Like any health breakthrough, the rich get it first. That's just a fact of life. It would be naive of us to think there aren't going to be parents or prospective parents who want to use the best genetic information they can, they can get hold of, in order to have the best baby. So it might be that they want a tall baby. Um, it might be that they want a high IQ baby or an extroverted baby. Scientists who want to push boundaries will always find parents who want better and you put the two together and you will get enhanced babies what genome editing potentially can do and this kind of technology is to give the privileged an extra layer of privilege genetic privilege if you like this is something that we will have to think about as a society whether we use it ban it who gets access to it um, how, if we are going to make it available to the rich, how do we democratise that? We are way behind where we should be answering these questions.